Okay, you got that spiral sliced ham and now you're worried about how to serve it up. Well, I've got you back and in this video I'll walk you through how to carve it up and get those slices right off the bone. Now you can heat up the ham and then carve it or you can carve it and then heat it up. That part's up to you. Let's look at the end of your ham. Now if you pull the front pieces off, it should come off in three major pieces. Now I've marked it off on the plastic wrap of this ham and this is a recommended order for carving. Just remember the largest piece comes off first and the smallest piece comes off last. So if you don't do it in that order, it's okay because our goal is still to get that ham off the bone. Now let's cut that first section off cutting around the natural outline of the muscle. Be sure and cut deep enough to free up all the pre-cut slices. See how easy that was? Now we're going to remove the second section in the same way. And on the third section there's a little more cutting around the bone action, but you can do it. Now you're left with the unsliced ham and the bone. You gotta freelance this part by cutting the ham off the bone in chunks or slices. And I like to leave a lot of ham on the bone and then freeze it up because this usually winds up in a large pot of beans. And this is so good it's almost worth buying the ham just to get that ham bone. Now when you serve your spiral slice ham like this, the fun factor goes way, way up. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and remember that you heard it here at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Ha, 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 ha.